In the previous video, I showed you how to calculate the process capability for the centered process, CP, and process capability if the process is out of control, uh, CPK, and these two we calculated previously. However, uh, imagine a situation where the process is not uh, uh, controlled. Uh, for example, um, capability analysis out of control um, in 80s and in 90s and 2002 the auto industry is in america is facing real trouble in controlling the uh, quality of their cars uh, so they had to maintain a lot of suppliers uh, where uh, it was very difficult to uh, control uh, their quality and the supplier was um, uh, and sometimes their process is not controlled. Now, if the process is not controlled, then you cannot have this really nice smooth graphs. Um, so, um, the six, um, the standard deviation, then if, because you don't have control process, you cannot predict the population. Then you cannot have a standard deviation for that population is standard deviation sigma. Instead of that, what you use is sample standard deviation because um, you can't have a uh, control process. That's the reasoning. Uh, because you don't have a control process, you cannot have uh, that uh, population is standard deviation. That's the reasoning behind using um, that uh, process capability for out of control. So for the equation, this looks like similar, but like this. So PP instead of uh, CP, this thing is called PP um, when it's out of control. Now you can't uh, delete any points because you don't know because everything is crazy there. So you have to bring back that point one and also bring back that point 17, the one we deleted. So let's do that. Let's do that point, bring back this point 17, which was crazy point. So everything is crazy now. All right, so what I'm gonna do is we'll have to kind of extend that uh, all the way like that. Now, so um, we got that fixed. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change this. Now we don't have sigma, so we can say it's the sample standard deviation ST standard deviation which is s so what are you gonna do we're gonna simply calculate equals ever um, stdev dot s that will give you the sample standard deviation and select all these data points like that so that is my sample standard deviation now it's the sample standard deviation now this um uh the um um, we have the upper spec limit, lower spec limit. So what you can do is just calculate this PP. If the process is centered, then it's going to be... Uh, so everything else is fixed. I don't have to do anything. Just change this name of this uh, PPU uh, like that. Now, I can, of course, delete the data point that I for sure know that it is out of control because of some reason it has if this data point has some assignable causes we can delete that we can delete this one too but generally if the process is crazy goes all over the places it's difficult to know which one is actually some because of some assignable causes which one is not because of the assignable causes now, as you can see for out of control process for same data set the process capability um, uh, kind of changes to significantly low um, this one was previously almost 1.3, this one was 0.8, uh, so everything else was significantly less. Um, so for then, is everything is kind of incapable now, so they can, uh, they have to ensure a little bit more uh, quality if something is out of control process. Uh, um, but the idea of this is not that popular except that auto industry supplier case uh, most of the time it is the uh, process capability the cp staff is used a little bit more than in than this out of control stuff because um, if something is out of control it's kind of difficult to uh, get a consistent value so the performance index does not miss, make much sense however a lot of statistical software like mini tabs and some other softwares and of course you can also calculate this to see what's 
going on um, if 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 in case your process is not controlled uh, that's it about the out of control process capabilities